I have been standing here just racking my brain trying to figure out how to say exactly what I want to say. We all know goodbyes are hard, especially when you're saying goodbye to something that you absolutely love. But today I have to say goodbye. And uh, it's going to be my last ride on my YT decoy shred. Now hold on, I hope you don't think I was ending the channel because I'm far from finished with my channel. It's growing. I love having a channel and I know that I haven't been able to put out videos as consistently as I used to. That's just life, it's gotten busy. But I bought a brand new bike and I cannot wait to share with you what it is, but I'm not gonna share it until I make a video about it. And if for some reason you can't wait to find out what it is, all you have to do is drop by Gravity Bicycles in Fullerton and they'll probably be working on it and you get a little sneak peek. But today I am in Ladera Ranch with a fly of friends at the Waterworks Trail for my final ride on the YT Decoy Shred. This has been one of my favorite bikes I've ever owned and if you're on the fence about getting a decoy I highly recommend that you get one. And listen stick around because there's an injury in this video. There's a wipeout that leads to an injury and uh, we have to get out of the waterworks system to make sure that we can get somebody off to the hospital so definitely stick around for that. But right now let's bounce over to the Ladera Ranch hit some trails for my final ride on the YT decoy shred all right we're at the entrance to waterworks the final ride we got a flock of six today Noor, master joseph jason robert and dave and the final ride on the yt decoy shred the mach 5 aka mother nature let's enjoy this as we reminisce about how great this bike has been while we look forward to the next bike that we're going to ride Dusty. I don't feel like hitting that jump. All right, so Waterworks is fun. This bike, if you're thinking about getting a decoy, it's such a great bike. There's so much bike 
for the money that you can get for this thing. And I would highly encourage you to do it if you are eyeing the YT Decoy. It's a great bike. Really looking forward to the new bike that I'll reveal in a video coming up. But man, nothing but great memories on this one. Now we're going to take the Mach 5 Mother Nature right down that trail and not hit the hiker as we hit Ripper. This entrance for Ripper is easy to pass, uh, easy to pass up. So when we get to it, I'm going to just pause for a second, make sure everyone is together I know, it's so i was literally just saying on camera how easy this is to miss <laughs> it is. Right now. Good, dude. ripper is dusty see robert kicking up some of that dust there's all kinds of little little pebbles in the way of everything Ooh, Claymore, right in the middle of the turn. And it looks like golden hour right now, but it's only what, 10 o'clock maybe? Not even? We are at the merge of Machete and Ripper right now and sometimes when you go down Ripper it looks like you want to go straight and if you do that you end up kind of going what's a unofficial down line for Machete so it's better to go left take it all the way to the end and then you can go catch Machete at the top from it. You all right, Jason? Dislocated. Oh, dude, what happened? Stop. What happened, dude? Where'd you blow it? Right here. Is your arm yeah. jacked? Yeah. Okay, we gotta get you out. I think I'll be okay. Did you hit it right there? Huh? Right there? Is that where you fell? I just there. slid out, yeah. Oh, dude. I think it's dislocated. I'm gonna hold your bike. What's this? Okay, your elbow? elbow? Yeah. Oh, okay, we gotta get you hospital. Yeah. You're really puffed right here? Uh -huh. Yeah. Dude, so I wouldn't try and move it. Much, it might be broken too. Okay, we're gonna end the ride. Start walking up the trail. We're gonna bring the bike. Where's the nearest hospital? Is it Mission? Yeah. Uh, do you want an ambulance? Or you want to just drive there? I'll just drive there. Okay, then start walking. We'll worry about the bike. Sure. Always a bummer when your friends go down. We're gonna get Jason safely out of here. Get that elbow looked at. Okay. Does it feel like your bone is out? Yeah. Are you lightheaded? Yes. You are. Then uh, I think I want you to sit down. You might be in shock. There you go. Take a minute. Okay. Do you need some water? Yes. Can you help with the helmet? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Where's the closest way to the road? Straight. We just got to get down here. Right. We're, we're kind of far from it. All right. Let's just keep tracking. Okay. Keep walking. Yeah. I'm going to take your bike. Right. So what, what exactly happened on the crash? I, I came up on you. It looks like you washed out on the right because it's pretty dusty right now. Is that what happened? Did you just did, lose I the front? I basically tried to hop into the corner. Okay. As I did that, my front tire washed out. So as you were uh, compressing for the jump? Yeah, as I, no, as I came into the jump. Oh. As I came into it like this. Yeah. And then I, I went to put my hand out and it just, I saw it like. Oh. Do we have to go left over this water oh, okay. yeah. to get to the parking lot? Now there's some slippery rocks. So yeah. you want to help them? Like you can assist yeah. them while I get the bike. Okay. Just make sure he has like his right hand can grab onto you or something, you know? Now I want to play That's What Friends Are For with Dion Warwick and <laughs> Stevie Wonder. <laughs> this arm, I had an injury on this arm before when I was young. Uh-huh. Uh, snowboarding. Oh, okay. And so I, I wonder if, I don't know if it's just the way I put my arm down or maybe it's just still weaker because yeah. of that. Mm. Hold on one second. I have I have an idea. We're gonna put. I'm gonna get your arm up. Yes. This. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Hey, does that feel comfortable on your arm right now? It does. 
uh, put your arm down, like kind of relax. Okay. Okay. Is that gonna be okay in your neck like yeah, that? Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, it seems like it's just swollen. Uh huh. I guess we'll see when they what they say. Yeah. All right. Well, this has been a fun day. Uh, feel bad that Jason wiped out, but uh, he hit us up, and here is exactly what happened to his elbow. I will miss riding this YT decoy. Uh, if you are interested in buying this decoy, uh, stay tuned. Follow me on Instagram at adamock.lcs. I'll probably make an announcement there when it goes for sale. And uh, for all I know, it may sell even before I list it. So just keep your eyes and ears open if you want it. Say what you want.